Ruski Ed here, and this lesson will focus on a group of plants in the carrot family. More on this remarkable family following the intro song, but in the meantime, be sure to look over the vocabulary words for this lesson. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know. The Ruski Ed is the place to go. The carrot family, or Semya Markovi in Russian, includes plants such as celery, dill, fennel, parsnips, caraway, cilantro, and hemlock, to name just a few. Plants in this family are characterized by tap roots, hollow stems, and flower clusters, which are shaped sort of like an umbrella. In this lesson, we will focus on a genus known as Ferula. Five members of this genus are listed in the Krasnaya Kiniga. First up, we have Ferula Yevgenia and Vesyo Rastenia sa Chesnochnim Zapaham, or Vesyo Rastenia Paknet Chesnakom, both of which mean the entire plant smells like garlic. Next, we have Ferula Giganskaya, and as its name suggests, Ferula Giganskaya Vesoka Roslaya Rastenia, which means Ferula gigantia is a tall plant. In fact, it can reach a height of two meters. The third plant on the list is Ferula camnelubevaya. And as with other members of the carrot family, this plant has complex umbels or Slozhnaya zantiki in Russian. Moving on to the fourth plant, we have Ferula sumbu and Eta rastenia taksha is vesna kak muskusni koren, which means this plant is also known by the common name musk root. And finally, the last plant on the list is Ferula turkmenskaya. And as with other members of this plant family, Saspetia etava rastenia napaminayat naves, which means the inflorescence of this plant resembles a canopy. And now for a quick little joke. Sto ne vidima i paknet markovu, which means what's invisible and smells like carrots. And the answer is krolik pukayat, which means rabbit farts. While we're on the topic of farts, it should be mentioned that verbs which mean to fart include perdets, bizdets, pukats, and puknuts. A couple nouns which mean fart include perdoj and puk. Also, meteorism is a general term which means flatulence. And on that rather brown note, we should end this lesson. But first, a quick explanation for those unfamiliar with the so-called brown note. Karishnavaya nota eta neslishnaya chastata Iza katorai ludi teryayut kantro nad svayim kishechnikam, which means the brown note is an inaudible frequency which causes humans to lose control of their bowels. There's a South Park episode featuring the topic for those who wish to learn more. Otherwise, it is now time for this lesson to come to its conclusion. Ruskiad, signing off now. Das. Vidanya!